Hello Aries, this is your February 2022. So Aries, the title that makes sense for this video is that it's a magical, it's a magical month. It is a magical month. And the reason this comes up as a magical month is because the, oops, the energies, and I'm going to keep that, the energies that are surrounding you will consist of transformation. So before I do all the tarot as I shuffle, I'm going to give you some messages oops, that uh, Spirit wants you to have. So Aries, when I first look into your February, the first message I get is that, you know, once you relax, once you allow things to just flow the way they're trying to flow and not create any resistance, then you're most likely, for most of you, majority of you, you're going to see that everything is going to fall into place exactly where it needs to be. Now, I will say that at the same time, for some of you worried about love or wanting to find love, for some of you, you may be experiencing a separation. For some of you, it's a divorce. For some of you, this is about um, a breakup here. Some of you may still be trying to deal with or, or adjust to the separation or the distance between you and somebody you love very much. I'm also going to say that uh, for some of you, yes, love is definitely going to come into play in the month of Fe February. It is going to come into play in the month of February. However, but first, you have got to make the decision, and that's probably why the Seven of Cups came out here, is because you're going to have to make this decision. You're going to have to decide which one of these options that are in front of you do you need to dismiss? Do you need to finally just let go? For some of you, this new person doesn't have room to come in until you can remove what's no longer needed. For a lot of you, you're going to do a lot of connecting with people this month. February is the month where people maybe that you haven't spoken to in a long time are going to start to come toward you. They're going to allow you the opportunity to get to know somebody again from the past. For some of you, it's meeting new people. For a lot of you, with this new moon that's in Aquarius right now, you're going to choose who you're going to stay connected to and who you're going to remove or who you're going to just walk away from. Right now, with all the planets, all of the planets at this point in time are going direct, which means you're, none of you, Aries, are going to be focusing on what's happened in the past. None of you. You're going to pull a lot of that attention away looking at something that's new. The next card that comes up for you is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles talks about you looking at what you had. Deciding or thinking about so much that was this really right for you? Was this all a facade? Was this something that illusion that I created in my mind? Did I allow this to really happen? Did I really let them get the best of me? Why was I so submissive to this person? They didn't do a whole lot in order to persuade me or in order to try to keep me or to try to make me happy. I did most of the work is what you're saying. You know, it's funny. But there's going to be a lot of opportunity coming in for Aries. There's going to be opportunity to make money. There's going to be opportunity for love and having many options. There's going to be an opportunity that presents itself about you looking over stuff. Figuring out, you know what? I, I can't keep wasting any more time. I, I need to make a decision here. I need to move forward. All right. Um, there is definitely going to be a lot of opportunity 
in the month of February. February is going to be one of your most favorable months this year. For some of you, your love life is definitely going to start to sparkle. There's going to be offers that come out of the woodwork for you, out of the blue. But some of you are going to say, well, you know, yeah, this one asked me out or that one asked me out, but I'm still kind of stuck here. There's going to be a few of you who aren't going to take this message the way you need to, who's not going to take these spirit-guided messages for you to pick up and move on. Some of you are going to choose to stay stagnant, to stay unhappy, to stay in this position created or controlled by a narcissist. And, and for you, okay, you're, you have free will. You can do what you need to do. There's definitely a beginning and an end in every single situation. Remember, energy is constantly moving. It's okay when things have to end. It doesn't have to be as difficult as you make them. For a lot of you, it's kind of like debilitating. It's, it's almost making you feel like you don't, you don't have value anymore because somebody walked away, because it didn't work out. It makes you feel like you weren't good enough and that is not the case, Aries. That's so not the case. Aries, you have been truly overwhelmed, overloaded, and that is why the Ten of Wands comes out. You have definitely had an overload, whether this is at work, whether this is dealing with family issues, maybe issues with your children, maybe issues with your ex-partner, maybe your ex-spouse. For some of you, these issues could be just your own personal challenges that you've been going through. But this is definitely showing that 2021, you had about all you could take. And now we're right here at the beginning of February and you're going to find a way to release these burdens. You're definitely going to release the burdens because you're definitely thinking very carefully here with the Queen of Pentacles. You're definitely able to see with the Seven of Cups that something needs to change. <clears throat> For Aries, your heart and mind, your heart and mind keep having the same argument. Your heart and mind can't seem to deal with the secrets, the lies, the manipulations, the trust issues, the disappointments. One part of you is saying, well, maybe this didn't really happen. Maybe it wasn't like that. And the other part of you is saying, oh yeah, that's exactly what happened. That's right, somebody came between us. There were secrets everywhere. You may have been dealing with a water sign. You may have been dealing with an earth sign. You may have been dealing with an air sign. For some of you, we know the sun is very hot. So I guess even the fire signs, every sign can really resonate here with you, Aries. But you know, in February, you're going to reconsider what you know. There's going to be signs that are shown to you. There are going to be so many opportunities that present themselves. There's also going to be some type of an invite or celebration that's coming up for you. This is something that's going to be very exciting. It's going to make you very happy. This is something that's going to make you feel like you fit in, like other people do care about you, that you have support from everyone. And this also... Looking at the Three of Cups could also be about feeling overwhelmed. Somebody, maybe a family member, a friend, even a co-worker, somebody may be willing to help you lighten that load. Aries, I have to tell you that, you know, for a lot of you, there's a very important choice or decision. With the Two of Swords here, there's a very important choice or decision that's going to be made here. This decision is going to allow you to either continue with the secrets, the lies, and the manipulation. 
or find your freedom. Be able to take off this mask and truly see what's in front of you because right now, it's like you don't want to see the truth. You don't want to know the truth because you know what that would mean. You know that accepting the truth from either that water sign, that fire sign, that um, earth sign, or that air sign, you know that the truth means you're going to have to accept something and allow it to end. Remember in the beginning I said, everything, everyone deals with something new, a new beginning, and an ending, no matter what. Once you decide to make that decision, once you decide to take your shit and get going, the Seven of Swords, it's like, you know what, I'm grabbing everything I can and I'm leaving. I'm, I'm taking everything that's mine, everything I brought into this relationship, and I'm out of here. Once you do this, you're going to allow yourself to accept and allow the victory to come in. For a lot of you, there had been many different options or there's been many different types of influences, good and bad, between you and your partner that no longer kept you eye to eye. It was almost shoulder to shoulder as if you were battling with them. There was a very strong moment that stood between the two of you or there was a very strong common element. You had something that you both were invested in, something that you both had the same ideas about, maybe had the same goals. Perhaps some of you may have worked together, but your challenge was the same. But then that changed. Everything kind of got scattered all over. Even your money wasn't adding up anymore. Something wasn't making sense or you were spending way too much money. You were investing a lot where this person, it never was enough. Something was never enough here. For a lot of you, you juggled this relationship for quite some time for the past. With the Two of Pentacles, you kept trying to get the balance here, but it would never, it could never weigh the same. It just, it you couldn't get it even. No matter what you did, you couldn't get it even. <clears throat> you couldn't, <clears throat> excuse me, you couldn't get the balance that you needed for this to work. For a lot of you, you didn't lose hope for a long time. For some of you, you still didn't. You're still believing that there's one more chance. With this page, and mind you, it is just a page. With this page, you may have one more opportunity to try to make this work with them. But if they're not putting in the work, you're gonna have that imbalance. For some of you, don't stick by your past beliefs. Your past beliefs corrupted your mind. Your past beliefs talked you into the situation you got into. For some of you, you don't even know how to hell. You got all caught up the way you did. You don't know why you've got caught such strong feelings and you struggle with it. For some of you, it was about a risk. You were just willing to take this risk. Some of you were dating somebody who's already in another relationship. And you truly believe that you would deserve them to leave their partner, come to you and be faithful? If they cheated on their partner, why wouldn't they cheat on you? I'm just saying. I know that you believe that they cheated on that person because that person wasn't so good to them. Or that person wasn't their type. Or that person wasn't you, right? No, they cheated because they wanted to cheat. And now the truth of the matter is... They did that to you. They made false promises. For some of you, something happened pretty quick. Something came in and out really fast. Somebody may have came back. Somebody may have returned. And then they left again. For some of you, it's like I'm trying to find out where they went, who they're with, what they're doing. I'm looking for them. I'm searching. They're not coming toward you at all. For a lot of you, you knew this ended. Something ended. 
in February, the good news is you're going to get a message. You're going to get the answers to what it is that you're seeking. I'm also going to tell you that this transformation that is about to happen for you, this transformation is going to allow you, after hitting rock bottom, it's going to allow you to not only come up, it's not only going to allow you to recover, to recover from this, I'm sorry, it was actually upside down, to recover from this broken heart, this disappointment. A lot of you were trying so hard to manifest something, even though that person chose to walk away or go away or to leave, turn their back. Again, with the Six of Swords, that's somebody who's not dealing with it. Yes, you're asking why. For some of you, this person may have had addictions. This person may have been a narcissist. <coughs> Excuse me. This person may have had another partner. For a lot of you... Excuse me, I gotta get a drink. But for a lot of you, something had started and something has truly ended. As we move forward by the 15th of February, right after Valentine's Day, for a lot of you, you're gonna have a relationship. You're gonna have somebody new. You're gonna have the opportunity. Yes, you're going to have the opportunity to pick up the pieces from this tower moment that happened to you. A lot of you right now are feeling trapped with a knight of swords, feeling like, I just can't move. I'm stuck. They, they turned their back on me. They left me. I'm all by myself. I don't know how to deal with this. I don't know how to live without them. I've become so codependent on them. And I get it. I get it. A lot of you are just struggling with the Five of Cups, looking at something already from the past that happened. This is something that's made you feel as if, like, it, it can't be happening. For a lot of you, knowing that, yes, this is something that you lost, but at the same time, you have two cups left. You have these cups that means if you just turn around, if you just change your thinking, if you stop fighting with your heart and your mind, you're going to be able to find the strength. It's right there for you. You're going to be able to find the strength in this matter. For some of you, you're going to have to walk away. You may have won the battle by proving, yes, you cheated. Yes, you lied. Here's the records. Here's the proof. Here's the pictures. But at the same time, if you won that battle... And you're walking away. It may mean that you didn't win the war. Meaning the war to keep that person. The war to take possession of that person. But in fact, you won a peace of mind. You won your freedom. Now, now, justice has prevailed. Now with the justice card. Now, you'll be treated fairly. Now somebody knows that you only want the truth. Now somebody knows you're not tolerating this BS anymore. You're sick of it. Oh, you think they're going to go away quickly? No, they're not. They, and I read differently than any other tarot, so let me just say that with this hermit card to me, means they're going to keep an eye on you. Narcissists don't just let you go and let you walk away and go live your life. They don't show you their jealousy. They don't show you that... You meant the most to them. And remember to yourself, Aries, is that when somebody's cheating, they never cheat up. They always cheat down. Because the problem is, they know how good you are. They know you are better than they were. They know they could never get to your level. And the best part about it is that the truth is, they had to cheat with somebody that was in the streets. Somebody that was lower than you. Somebody didn't have their own car or their own house or whatever. They had to cheat lower. Because they could never compete with you. When they're with you, they always felt less than. When they're with you, they always felt not good enough. But yet, they tried to make you feel that way. 
the truth is, they were the ones who knew that they weren't good enough for you. And you allowed them to convince you that you weren't good enough. You allowed them to create that jealousy in you when you knew that they would make it clear that they cheated. They wanted you to suspect. They wanted to hide that phone on purpose. They wanted to tell you different things and mess up stories on purpose because they wanted to spike your attention. They liked when you got jealous and when you got mad at them and you got really frisky and frustrated because you thought they were cheating. You were right. They were. But they got more attention from you that way. See, when they go with this other person, this other person over here, that person who they don't really want, they don't really want that person, you see? They don't really want that person. But that person doesn't care where they go. That person doesn't care if they sleep with other people. That person just wants to know if they're going to bring them either their drugs or if they're going to give them their money for their rent or if they're going to put food in their house or whatever. Or just for sex. This person doesn't care about a relationship. Not at all. You are the queen of love. You are the queen of cups. This person over here will never have what you have. You were the one that's always willing to give half of everything that you had and more. A lot of you are still waiting for this person to return. Because when I look at the king of wands, your head is turned sideways, still waiting. Because you want that chance, that opportunity, that new beginning. For some of you, your person is being kind of stubborn right now. They're just sitting still. They're waiting to see what you're going to do next. Don't do anything. Stay still. Stay still. Right now, if you stay still, you're showing balance. You're trusting your intuition. It's the yin and the yang here. You're right between the yin and the yang. You're staying in the middle. You're not swaying to the left. You're not swaying to the right. But for a lot of you, you're very determined to make something happen. For a lot of you, with the Ace of Swords, there's going to be a result from the choice and decision. Remember back here, let me see. There it is. Remember back here when you had to make a decision. Can you see this? When you had to make a decision with the two of swords, this is the result because you chose here. You chose the right sword. So with that being said, blessings are coming. The universe is going to work you through this situation. With the Ace of Pentacles is what you can expect in the month of February. The universe is going to hand you exactly what it is that you're wanting. Be careful of what you wish for because you just may get it. For a lot of you, love is going to show up out of the blue. You're going to have an offer. It's coming. With these two together, you're asking for love. The universe is going to hand it to you. That's where we're standing. A lot of you right now are still worrying about this. You must trust. You must trust in your higher power. You must trust in the universe. February, hold on to your money. Don't overspend. Because March, you're going to need it for something that's coming up. There's some expenses that come up in March. For some of you, either you're hanging around or your partner's still hanging around. They haven't left yet. They haven't completely left yet. They're still weighing heavy on a decision. All right. Your final message for February is going to be Ten of Cups. Celebrations. Happiness. Also transformations. A new beginning. A fresh start. Now let me get a card from the Oracle.
right, for Aries. All right, Aries, this is your card. <clears throat> Say what you mean. This is your card. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. Number 18. Add 8 and 1 together. It's a 9. Maybe for the month of September is very important for you. Maybe the number 18 is important to you. But the universe, the spirits are sending you this message that it is very important for you to say exactly what you mean. Don't hold back with this partner. They can't read your mind. And it's important that you open this line of communication if this is what you truly want to save and resolve. There are blessings that are coming, there's no doubt. The universe is willing to help you. I hope you enjoyed your reading for February 2022.